Hi guys, welcome to the Daily Ding, the daily news show that's not even f***ing daily. Lots of news to get through in this episode, guys. Starting with Wild West Online, guys. A MMO Western, that's right. It comes out in December 2017, but there will be a closed alpha that you can get into if you pre-order it in the summer and a closed beta in the mid-October. So, what is it? Well, you ride around on a horse in the Wild West, you visit saloons and bars, and you can even be a deputy, or you can be a bounty hunter and hunt down people. I guess they're just like the quests. And um, you can actually pick things up by holding your mouse over something and pressing the button. And then this little circle fills up, guys. A little circle. A little circle goes round and fills up. A little circle, guys. Where have I seen that little circle? The circle of doom. The circle of death. The circle of destruction goes round, guys, and round and round. Where does that circle? Why does that circle? Who is that circle? It's Dimitri Tits out! It's Dimitri f***ing Tits out! Guys, I'm not saying this is Dimitri Tits out. It could be Dimitri Tits out, but I don't... I, I can smell... It, it, it's... Guys, I think... World War Z. World War Z. Once bitten, twice shy. Go f*** yourself. No, I, I'm not saying that. It's probably not him, guys. It's probably not. It's probably not Dimitri Tits out. It's probably not. It's probably not a reskinned War Z, guys. I'm, you know, I'm not giving you a Mac guarantee on that. But do you know what? When I found out about this, I was so excited. When I saw this video and saw that little circle of doom, I almost passed out of my chair. So the word on the street is be fucking careful. It could be Dimitri Tits out. Next up, guys, Player Unknown Battlegrounds is finally getting first-person servers, which means I'll finally be wabbing it because I am not a subscriber of third person. Oh, look, I see you. You can't see me. La 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 la. Ruffle, 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 and making videos like, "Hey, man, this is Jay Z 2D coming at you live with my baseball cap on the wrong way, fucking round, and my fingers all stretched out in some kind of weird fucking way, like rigor mortis is set in as I run around in third person. And go owned, oh, get good, owned, oh, get good." You know, I, I, I don't want to do any of that. I just want a first-person game where if I peep, peep out from behind a tree, they can see you and you can see me. That's the way it is. See you, see me. So I'll be looking forward to that. That's coming out uh, this month. This month. And it's got a FOV slider as well to make the FOV slide. Guys, exclusive news. Exclusive news. You heard it here first. You literally heard it here first, guys. This is, this is the biggie. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Half-Life 3 confirmed. Well, not technically confirmed by Valve, but as an experienced gamer, I can crack the hidden code. What's happened is Half-Life has been updated for the first time in 20 years. Why? They didn't have to do that. The reason they did it, guys, is it's a secret coded message that only retro gamers will understand. Here are the patch notes. For the new update and you can clearly see guys that it is going to be released on the game consoles that's what it says there game consoles you do not play the part of gordon freeman you are now playing marshall webb you are definitely playing as marshall webb each line you see has it has you know there will be a lot of crafting a lot of crafting guys it's going to be set in the cold the cold it's going to be set in the cold it's currently being written. The story is still being written, as you can see clearly there. And one of the enemies is called Saj. And he's a right fucking bastard, I hear. There will be weapons that are changing. There will be changing weapons, which means the weapon that you have will morph into other weapons. And it will have many consumables. There's a guy that will be helping you a lot. You know how you in, in Half-Life you had help from the scientists? Well, you're going to get a lot of help from Sam Veneer in this game. And the best thing of all, it's going to have custom levels. So there you go, guys. Half-Life 3 <coughs> confirmed. Great news, guys. 40,000 cheating c have been banned on Steam. But you've got to love Gabe. You've got to love Gabe. We love Gabe. You know why we love Gabe? No, we don't love Gabe. Because Gabe lets shit on Steam. But we sometimes love Gabe. We love Gabe at the moment. I'll tell you why. When people get banned, they use the summer sale to rebuy all their f***ing games. Because they lose their accounts and everything. So they make a new account and they use the summer sales to rebuy all the games that they had to buy before. So you know what Valve have done? The, in the ultimate troll, the summer sale ended on the 5th of July. They banned every c on the 6th, so they couldn't use the f***ing sales to buy back the game. you got to love that. 40,000 cheating c***s, eh? 
There was 40,000 cheating c**ts sitting on... No, we'll not do that. Too long. Haven't got time. Guys, a brand new World War II game is coming. An FPS World War II game with tanks and bombs and Germans and all that kind of jazz. 100 players. 100 players, guys. Not 10, not 20, not 30, not 100, guys. 100. 100. Get this. It has tanks, it has artillery and a shifting front line. It will feature famous conflicts from throughout the war, beginning with several villages in the town of saint marie du mont in northern France, where you can all surrender. It has a one-to-one -one scale battlefield of four square kilometers in size, which we will crush as this third right German army smash, 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 cut off. And guess what? Everybody's in it. Who should be in it? We have the Germans. The Germans. We can't have a World War II game without the Germans. We have the United States coming in when it's all over. We have the British. The British. The mighty British who fought. Fought alone. Who fought a fucking alone whenever you're the fucker surrendered. Yes, France, I'm looking at you, you c**ts. And then we have the Russians who couldn't decide whose side to be on at the beginning of the war. And then they decided, oh shit, we better join them. No, we love the Russians. We don't like the Russians. No, we do like them. No, they're all hackers, aren't they? Shit. But we do like the Russians now. They're all, they are all right. We liked them in World War II because if the Russians hadn't been in World War II, we'd have lost. We'd have lost. If Schnellface had not had to fight the Russians, he would have turned and fought us. But because the Russians were kind of like a massive distraction while we snuck in through surrender monkey country and then engaged them from the west and then the russians engaged from the east and then we did the sandwich in the middle yeah we've also got the japanese who pulled the dirty fucking trick at pearl harbor mind but i don't think the british were too upset about it at the time because that brought in the americans never mind all that guys listen to this this is the most important part of this whole bit on this game we are aiming to make a game that mixes the high intensity carnage weapon mechanics and brutality of Red Orchestra 2 <laughs> with the operational supply and construction mechanics of Project Reality beneath the meta strategy of a game similar to Company of Heroes. We prefer intense, terrifying and intelligent instead of long, tedious and boring. Only thing I don't like about this is the f***ing title hell let loose it sounds like some kind of indie rpg why can't it be crush the f***ing scummy nazi c**ts? that would be the game that i would that's what i would call it anyway guys expect this in 2018 so you know not this year like i said at the beginning but you know i've got to dramatize things